Have you ever looked at trading charts and thought you were looking at some kind of code or alien messages? Yeah, I felt the same in the beginning. That's why I've created this chart reading course for beginners. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. This video is the first part of a chart reading course for beginners. Being able to read charts is not only important if you want to trade crypto or stocks, but it's equally important to understand market movements if you're a long-term investor. So understanding the basics is crucial in order to make a profit. Now, I'll be exclusively referring to crypto charts since this is what this channel is all about. But you can equally apply everything that I'm explaining here to, ch to stocks as well. Now, as a crypto investor, you're likely looking for one thing above all else. How to buy the bottom and sell the top right after being in crypto for almost five years my partner kieran and i have learned a whole lot about charts and on-chain metrics that allow us to do just that as a result our portfolios have massively outperformed the market over the last couple of years now we'd like to share our tips and tricks with you. This is why we're holding a free masterclass where we share all of our secrets that allow us to buy low and sell high over and over again. Sign up now by going down into the description and clicking on the first link to get your invitation. Again, it's completely free and we'll show you our most successful trades and how you can replicate them. All right, let's dive in. All right, now if you've been investing in cryptocurrencies, you've likely been on sites like CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. Now I'm taking Bitcoin as an example here and what happens is on their main page if you click on that you get a whole bunch of information like the price and then if you scroll down you can actually see the price movement so you've likely looked at that already and that the, this line is actually called a line chart so you can that up here you can actually swap between different time periods this is the daily now and you see what happened with the price our line chart gives you a good indication of what the price is doing however it's also very unprecise because this always takes the average but you don't really know what happened each 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 section of this time period so for instance if we look at the daily you don't know what happened each hour during the day so this is where candlestick charts come into play now that's probably what looks really confusing to you these are candlestick charts and if you've ever looked at that you've probably been really confused about what is going on what what is happening here right i mean there's so much so many bars what, what is happening with all of that so let's start at the basics this is a picture of a wikipedia page that shows you exactly what we want to know candlestick trading charts are built out of se are of separate candles now what that means is these funny things they're called candles because they have a body and then they have wicks they look like candle wicks basically and you'll likely see two different colors you'll see green ones and red ones now what that happens if we look at the green one this means that the price has opened here so we always look at a certain time period i'll show you that on on, on the chart in a minute but i first want you to understand what a, a candle is even doing so it means the price has started here has opened here then during that certain time period for instance one hour it has gone as high as this and as low as this but it has stopped here it has closed here after that time period for instance one hour it went here now why is it green it started lower and ended higher. That means it's a, it's a bullish candle. That means it, the price has gone up during this time period. Now, as you can see, it even went lower because this wick shows you this, it went as low as that. That was the lowest point. But at the end of this period, it closed here. So it, it closed higher than it started and it doesn't matter where it went in the beginning. That's just what the wicks are showing you. Now, if we look on the other side, that's a bearish candle and that's why it's red. And the reason for that is that it has opened higher than it has closed. So let's take the one hour time period as an example again. So the, the one hour time period started, it opened here, then it maybe went up first, so it looked green at first, but then it went all the way down and eventually it started, it stopped here. So after one hour, it stopped here. So it stopped lower than it started and that's why it's red and it is a bearish candle. All right, now let's take a look at the charts. Now, what I highly recommend is tradingview.com. This is where not only all the crypto charts are available of the like big coins, the, the known ones, but also all of the stocks are available. So this is also what is generally used in exchanges. So for instance, if you've been on Binance or KuCoin or any of those exchanges and you've seen a chart, they, they take the data from trading you. So this is the go-to place and I 
highly recommend using that. They have a free version and you can also use a pro version if you've been more advanced and if you want to do all the fancy stuff then you can use the pro version as well but I'm just using the free version. All right now let's apply the knowledge that we've just learned about the candle. So I'll just zoom in here so that we have a better picture of what's going on. So first of all let's go to the top. What do we see here? We see BTC USD, that's the trading pair, and you can just click this and then type in anything else. So, if you want to look at the Ethereum chart, we could type in ETH USD, and then you see a couple are showing up. These are the different exchanges, but it doesn't really matter which one you choose as long as it's not um, like a perpetual contract or long or short or something like that. But for instance, Coinbase is a good indicator, so let's choose that. And then you see we have the Ethereum USD chart. Now, next to that is the time period. So that is crucial. You need to decide what kind of time period you want to look at so that you get the right data. So right now, if you click on that, you see I've chosen one day. So what does that mean? That means each candle represents one day. So for instance, if we take a look at that big red candle here, you can see, so what does red mean? It means it opened high and closed lower. So it opened here, so for ETH that was at 3000, it closed here at about 2568, and it also went up here to about 3035, and it went as low as 2465. So these are the wicks, so during that day it went that high and that low, but it opened here and it closed here again. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, on the right is the price of course, but I think you've already realized that, and down here is the date. So this is the date chart and this is this is the date line and this is the, the price. Now there are lots of lo and lots of other options here, as you can see lots of, of things and tools you can use, but that's more advanced. And this is actually a part that is exclusive for the Defrag Academy. So once you've gone through that beginner course and you've, you've gone through the master class and you feel ready to take the next step to become a pro investor and even maybe a trader, then the DeFi Academy is the place to go. That's where we go much more in depth into all of those indicators, but for now that would be way too overwhelming, so we'll stick to the, the basics. All right, so what you can do is you can change that time period. So I'm now on the daily, but I could also go to basically anything else. Like you can do one second chart and you can go up to one month chart. So that's basically the time span. Now what I recommend and what I'm usually, usually using are either daily, hourly or four hour charts. These are the charts I mostly use. To be honest, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go lower than one hour charts because what might happen is that you lose the, the big picture view basically. And that will, might lead to you to totally freak out and to not do very good decisions. I'll show you what I mean. So for instance, let's look at the one minute chart. So we need to zoom in here, otherwise you don't see anything. So look what I'm doing. So to see the price movement better, you need to spread that out so that the smaller movements are visible. And you can drag and drop that around as you want. And then you can zoom in and out to see more of, of the price action basically. So now I'm um, zooming out that I, so that I can see a bit more. Then I can make that a bit smaller again. So now I see what's going on. So what do you see? That looks very dramatic, right? I mean, it just jumped up and now is it going down again? Or like, do I need to buy in? Or what is happening here and here? It fell so low, what, what the hell is happening? But let's take a closer look. What, what happened here? So that went from 2,567 to 2,600. In crypto, that's nothing. I mean, that's like, I don't know, 1% or something. So that's nothing to care about. And also it's moving all the time. So that's already making me nervous. I'm not sure about you, but I feel like that's way too overwhelming, especially as a beginner. As a beginner, you want to have the big picture. You want to see the big movements. You want to see the patterns. That's another thing we'll look at in a future course. So this is what you want to see. And with those small time periods, you just don't see that. And you'll likely freak out because it looks like so much is happening when it's really not. So again, what I'm recommending is to look at least at the hourly charts or even better at the daily charts. Let's take hourly for now. So you'll see that looks like terribly big. What we need to do is we need to make that smaller again and then zoom, zoom in a bit so that we see a bit better what's going on. Let's make that a bit smaller because we wanna see the price action. We wanna get a better picture of the big picture. <laughs> 
All right, now I'll take something else in here, and that's the volume. And I've just realized that the RSI is still showing, but that's uh, something for a future lesson. So we'll take that out. We don't care about that at the moment. But what I also want to show you is the volume. So, so this is the ETH USD chart, but let's take a look at BTC, just because that's what most of you are probably want to take a look at because BTC moves the whole market. So again, let's first get a view of what is happening. So we're on the hourly chart then you can zoom in or out. Now, another thing you can see down here is the volume. That's also a very interesting indicator. And again, you have green, uh, green bars and red bars. This is very simple. What it means is green bars is that more people are buying than they're selling, and red bars is more people are selling than they're buying, or more capital is sold than is bought. So in that case, more BTC are sold than they are bought, or when it's green, more BTC are bought than, than, than are sold. Now, as you can see, this always correlates with the candle up here. So if we have a red bearish candle, that, that means that more BTC are sold than they are bought, and that's why the price gets pushed down. On the other hand, if we have a green candle and a green bar down here, that means that more BTC are bought than they're sold. Now, the volume can be a good indicator to see if a certain movement is coming. It's not always the best indicator, but what we want to do is look at a lot of indicators and all of that data together will give you a good image of what is likely to happen next. So if we take a look at volume, you can see, so let's zoom out a bit. Oh, okay. So this is something I need to explain as well. I'm now on the hourly and right now I don't really feel like I get a good picture of what is happening like in the long run because right now I see, okay, there's, there's quite a bit of volume, but that was just three days ago. And I want to happen. I want to know what happened before that because I want to compare. So right now I already feel like pff, I'm not really getting the data I need. So I need to zoom out further. And to do that, I'll choose the daily. That gives me a much better picture of what's happening in the long run to actually see some patterns. Again, we'll get to that in a future lesson. So once I've got all the chart on my screen right now, I feel like I've got a much better picture of what it has been going on over the last few weeks or even months. All right, so now let's look at the volume again. You can see that it has, it's, it's usually at about the same, same range, I uh, would say about uh, 15,000. That's about the range. It goes maybe a bit lower to 14,000, but that's about the range. So what is interesting is when it jumps above that range. So for instance, let's look at the past couple of days. So let's zoom in here. So that was about the, the range I said, 15,000. So let's look at that. That totally jumped out of, of the range. So that totally jumped out up until almost doubled up until about 30,000. So that was during that correction on January 21st. And then if we look a couple of days later on January 24th, you can see that's that big green candle we just looked at on the hourly. So I told you that's just three days ago. And you can see that combination of green candles, all of that together builds that one day and that's why it gets a big green candle on the daily chart as well. So basically candles on bigger time frames, daily, weekly, monthly, are basically take the data of smaller time frames taken together. So they, this will go up down until the month, the, the second chart or the, the minute chart, and all of that data together gets that one candle. So let's go back to my point. So we have that big green candle, but look at what the candle here is doing. Not much, right? So this green candle, this means that a lot of buying pressure is coming in. A lot, a lot of people are buying, but the price is not really moving. Now, this can mean two things. Number one, if we have a couple of really high volume candles and the price is not moving, that's an indicator that whales are coming in and the price will likely explode very soon. But if you look here, I mean, the volume has been okay, but not really impressive, not really higher than the past few days. And that reflects in the price. It's not really going anywhere. It's going, si it's going a bit up, but it's going sideways. There's not enough buying pressure here to push it up today or tomorrow. All right, so let's do a quick recap of this lesson. So these, this kind of chart is called a candlestick chart. On the bottom here, you have the date range. On the right, you have the price. Now, on top here, we're looking at trading you a trading view chart. On the top here, you have the trading pair. So in our case, that's BTC USD. And right on the right side of that, you have the time frame. In our case, that's the one day. That means each candle, if we zoom in here, each candle represents one day. 
taking a look at a candle, we have green candles and red candles. Green candles mean that the price during this time period has started lower and ended higher, or opened lower and closed higher. So again, one candle is one day in our case. So in this case, with this green candle, it means that the, the, the day has started here at about 48,000. It closed here at 50,000, but during this day, it also went as low as 48,027, and it went as high as 51,290. The same is true for red candles. You can see here is a very small red candle. That means it has started here. We can barely make out the difference. It started here at about 50,791. It closed here at 50,657, but during that time period it went up until 52,094 and it went as low as 50,484. In that chart you also see the, the volume. That What that means is green volume means that more people, more BTC have been bought than have been sold, the amount, and red candles mean that more BTC have been sold than have been bought. This always correlates, the color always correlates between the candles and the volume because if more BTC are sold than bought, that means that the price gets pushed down and vice versa. All right, so this concludes the first lesson of the chart reading course for beginners. Hopefully you now understand what a candlestick chart is, how to read it and how to interpret it on a very basic level. In the next lesson, we'll start looking at patterns. Specifically, we'll look at support and resistance areas and we'll also look at trend lines. So this lesson will come out next week, so for, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when this le lesson is live. Also don't forget to sign up to our free masterclass that will tell you all our secrets about how you can buy the bottom and sell the top. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!